So starting with our next chapter, we're going to go from linear and absolute value equations and functions to polynomial. First thing we need to do is go over some vocabulary. So poly means many. Um, we're going to figure out what a uh, nomial is. And an monomial is a number, a variable. For the product, of one or more variables uh, the product of a number sorry about that and one or more variables raised whole Number and remember my whole numbers are a set of numbers that go zero, one, two. Our natural numbers. The degree of a mon monomial is the sum of the exponents of the variables. So I am going to um, write some monomials down. And I'm going to figure out what the degree. First one is 10. That's a monomial because it is a number. Okay, and the degree of the monomial. is the sum of the exponents of the variable. Well, there is no variable, so the degree is I have something like 3x. We have an invisible exponent of a 1. So my degree is... I can even go back up to that 10. I could think of this as times x to the 0, because x to the 0 is just 1. Think of it having a Three quarters x y squared. So it's the sum of the exponents of the variables. X has a one plus two. Um, let's do a couple non-monomials. Y not a. X plus five. <clears throat> um, sums are not that plus sign. Two over n. This is the same thing as two times n to the negative one. Okay, not have negative exponents. Or another thing to say, cannot have positive powered variables denominated.
Remember, my monomial, my exponents have to be whole numbers. Um, do this. 3 to the x. Um, this is an exponential equation because the variable is in the exponent. Um, so we cannot have variable in the exponent. That gets us through no meals. And because we're now going to come up with the vocab for the polynomial. A polynomial. Is a polynomial. is a monomial or the sum of um, the degree of a polynomial. is the greatest degree of its term. So whichever term has the highest sum of exponents, that would be the overall degree of the and we can classify polynomials two different ways. Classify them by the number of terms. The polynomial has a zero, uh, the polynomial has one term, name, a monomial. Two terms, we call it a binomial. It has three terms, we call it a trinomial. And four plus, we just I can, these all three are polynomials, but four plus we don't call them like quadnomials, quintinomials. That's the first way we can count. Classify. The second way we can classify them by their okay zero zero degree we call a constant. First degree is linear. Second degree is quadratic. Third degree we call cubic. Fourth degree is quartic. And so on. We could also say, hey, whatever the number is, it is a nth. I have a five would be a fifth degree polynomial. I can call it quint. Two different ways that I can pass them. Covers the vocab portion. Um, is one little lesson in IXL that you're able to bust through like in just.